Hello, we are back with 80 through 71. Yes. Of our top 100 songs. Ever. Ever. Ever recorded. Or performed. Or recorded and performed. Or just existed. Stared at. Not taken. Yeah. What's your number 80? Okay, it's my turn. All right. As usual, I don't, as usual, I want to show off some ice cream cones. Number 80 is Hey Hey My My by Neil Young. This is a very good song by a great songwriter. And uh, he's, he, he's definitely a very eclectic guy, and that's one of his more electric ones with a you know, very, very good riff and uh, some, some clever lyrics. And, you know, spawned some really, really, you know, oft-quoted rock lines like It's Better oh, to Burn yeah. Out Than to Fade Away. Uh, it's a, you know, it's better to burn out than it is to rust, that sort of deal, and I think it's just a very iconic track. Is Which one, is that the, uh, electric one or the acoustic one? That's the electric one, one yeah. Okay, yeah, no, my, you like my, that my, my, hey, hey. the, uh, acoustic one better? I like the electric one better myself. Ah, uh, I like a, the acoustic one better. They're both good. Yeah. They're both really good. It was, it was a hard call. I, I almost, like, put both of them at the same, <laughs> at the <laughs> same rank. That's high. Yeah, or, like, this one would have been, like, one below the other one or one above the other mm -hmm. one, that kind of deal. But, um, yeah. All right. My number 80 is Oliver's Army by Elvis Costello. Uh, to this day. It is, yeah. Great, like, little protest song with very pretty piano riff. Uh, super sing-along to a bowl. And depressing lyrics, poppy music. Depressing yeah. lyrics, yep. Classic About Costello. war and change and such. Some great lines from that one, too. Yes. Joy. Hannesburg. He does a really. Well, one day we're just gonna cover an Elvis Costello just song just so you can of, uh, just so you can sing it. And watch the detectives <laughs> don't get cute. And watch the detectives. They're cute. <laughs> That's an alternate ending. Anyway, we're gonna move on to my number seventy nine now. I survived. Don't Good worry. job. Good job surviving. <gasps> is Heaven on Their Minds by G by 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 Jesus Christ by Jesus superstar. Christ superstar by the superstar that is Jesus Christ now. You're you're really gonna start thinking of me as uh extra extra agonizing because I'm putting in some classical pieces, some Broadway <laughs> songs. <laughs> Great to be back, back, oh, back no, no, on no, no. Broadway. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> That's my number one. <laughs> You're kidding. You must be no, kidding. No, I'm kidding. My number one is Wazzle Berry. No, no. Hope your dad doesn't ever see this video. Um, But anyway, <laughs> I have it on their mind. So it's kind of a combo rock song, Broadway song, because Jesus Christ Superstar is very much a rock musical. Mm -hmm. and it started off as actually just an, a concept album by uh, Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd mm -hmm. Webber. And so the first recording you ever heard of those is just a recording. And so, you know, it was intended to go to the stage, but then, it, then you know, then it got made into a movie and a musical. And I grew up with the movie soundtrack, and I prefer the movie Judas myself, but um, <coughs> the Judas on the record, who's Murray Head, who's a fantastic singer of his own right, is, is also great. I think Carl Anderson was the movie guy. The movie guy, anyway. Film mm -hmm. Judas. My number 79... Oh. Is Baker Street <laughs> by Gary Rafferty, which is just that fantastic saxophone riff. I'm doing it perfectly. Yep. Uh, every just kind of just got all focused around that from like with it just leading in the song, it coming after all the choruses. There's just so many great crescendos in that song. I like I love that guitar chord that kind of comes in like slide down while the while the while the sax is coming. You ever notice that? Like at the end? No, no, no. Just like every time the sax comes, it's always like boom coming down too. Mm. I'm not sure thing. if I have. That'd but yeah, the and then the end has that like guitar laser solo. Oh, the guitar laser solo. I forgot about that. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here I am monopolizing your song. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> With my wonderful sax impersonations. We're gonna go far away from saxophone territory, though, at, at a ridiculously well-timed, because I sang, <laughs> John had me sing this at karaoke last night, which you can picture how that <laughs> went. Um, at, at private karaoke, Swimmingly. thankfully. 
swimmingly, you say. I think I, li- I think when I was thinking about drifting away, I literally went to the other end of the room. And it was- <laughs> but anyway, Newborn by, by, by Muse, who you're going to be seeing a lot of throughout my uh, top 100 songs. Like, first of all, that, that riff is just super infectious. <laughs> I think we're singing different riffs. <laughs> I meant the guitar riff that came. <laughs> but uh, and I love how it just bleeds in with that piano intro. And the, the the higher you get on the list, I feel like the more parts the songs are gonna start having. Uh-huh. So just n- number one is ridiculously part written. So. Uh, oh yeah. It's your turn again. All right, my number 78 is Digging for Something oh. by Superchunk, which is a just kind of great song. One of my favorite songs to run to, just super catchy chorus, great riff. Uh, fantastic bridge that just kind of like perfectly explodes back into the uh, oh, yeah. chorus. Uh, if I'm running and no one is watching, I do a little leap in the air when it gets to that part. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun picturing that. You're just kind of boom. Uh, yeah, great sing long chorus. Uh, Underrated group. I yeah. like my crescendos uh, in songs. Uh, is your number one just going to be a giant crescendo? Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, it's like a drum roll and then at the end. <laughs> <laughs> All right, spoiler alerts, folks. No, that's yep. Just- just a drum roll. No, that's my number three, because my number one is Razzleberry Dressing, and my number two is Back on Broadway from Mr. Magoo's <laughs> Christmas Carol. So everyone can stop watching now. Never yep. come to a gig. Um, <laughs> lest we cover We're going to be covering <laughs> the all entirety. Magoo special Christmas show. I wish you would have let me know that, because I would have quit the band. <laughs> you got some time to learn them. Don't worry. Number 77, anyway, is <laughs> not Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol. It's Bullet with Butterfly Wings by uh, Smashing Razzleberries. I mean, Smashing Pumpkins. It's a really, really well-constructed, angsty. angsty, but, like, angsty, and, like, a lot of Smashing Pumpkins songs are angsty in a really miserable way. My reflection, dirty mirror. The killer in me is a killer in you. But, but uh, that one is... That just, one rocks, yeah. That one and uh, that one is just great riffs, great great <coughs> bass work, guitar work. Uh, even the vocals actually uh, <laughs> sound good in this context. With yeah, Billy they definitely his, fit it. Yeah, and yeah. like then big bridge. And uh, they did this live when we saw them. I was just like, yes. So yeah. All right, my number seventy six or seventy seven. Repeat on this list. We've got Rock Lobster by the B fifty twos. Just such an awesome goofy song. Oh yeah. And. We've already talked about it. Fair enough. Well, you should talk about it, because I talked about it. It's awesome and goofy. Okay. You're a bit uh, more laconic than I am, that's true. <laughs> Which is probably good. Number 76 has its own uh, repeated riff. It is Epro by Beck. Nah. What do you mean, nah? <laughs> it's not repetitive, or? No, I'm saying nah to it, because it's like, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. nah, nah, nah. nah. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, but see, it's a, I think it's a song, like, built from a Beastie Boys sample, a Beastie Boys rhythm oh, section the beat, sample. yeah. Like, from an agonizing Beastie Boys song. And I like the Beastie <laughs> Boys well enough, but So What You Want, which is one of the worst songs ever to exist. So What You Want! Uh, but, um, and then he adds his own written guitar riff over it, and uh, it's really, really infectious riff. I play it way too often at sound checks on my bass, and um, it's really... Just a great, just a great song, and Beck's such a great musician that I that I have to give him credit. All right, my number seventy six. This one specifically needs to be the live version. Uh, I'm going with mm. "Crime in the City" by Neil Young. A parentheses. Parentheses live. I believe it's on uh, Weld. Uh, is the good live version. Oh yeah. Uh, That's a good compilation there. Yeah. So just uh, night. It's just kind of like fantastic lyrics kind of just very cynical he's going through all these different people he's through all these cops taking money mm. from kids there's families of killers and thieves <laughs> uh it's got you know it's kind of the perfect use of his solos because his solos come in every you know couple minutes and they're they're brief enough to mm. not be like a <laughs> this oh yeah his style of solo is best suited to like Burst. Like a short, interspersed thing, yeah. I, I, well, yeah, when they're just bursts, they work really well. When they go on for ages, you can shut up already. 
Yeah, so just like some of my favorite lyrics of his, mm -hmm. great riff, uh, great, just kind of great vocal performance. Oh, fantastic yeah. Fantastic song. Great delivery, yep. Everything else. Number 75, right, that's what that was. Tells a good story. Oh, yeah? With pictures. Ah. Because stories and pictures and pictures. Telling anyway, uh, the, the the real the real key thing about yeah, yeah that's fine. I deserve it. The real key thing about this song is is its lyrics. Uh, Rod Stewart is, you know, obviously everyone knows him for his very distinctive vocal <laughs> style, but um, he's a fantastic lyricist as well. And people don't give him that credit a lot of the time because it's it's really very funny, witty song about a guy traveling around the world uh, at the at the urging of his father who's sick of him sitting around all day or mm -hmm. something, and uh, ends up marrying. An Asian woman, and um, it's oh it's boy. it's borderline offensive, but um, oh it's hilarious. Uh, not offensive, but this was the '70s, and maybe a couple of terms are used that wouldn't really fly today. Tell me all of them in this video. No. Okay. You'll have to listen for yourselves on the Spotify playlist, but it's a great song, great energy, uh, wonderful like twelve-string guitar intro. He loved his twelve strings in those days. What happened to him? Money. Yeah. My number seventy five <laughs> is Aqualung by Jethro Tull. Ooh. Uh another that's there's a song with parts for you. It's got mm -hmm. several of us, but it's got that classic main riff, the bounner It's got kind of a soft like acoustic thing. It's got like a fast part, it builds into a solo, comes full circle back to the riff. It's oh, talking yeah. about like that speed up. Yeah, great speed up. I guess it's kind of, no, no, maybe it's purpose is like to get sympathy for the guy. It's like, here's this like. It's like a sketch of it, yeah. Yeah, like a sketch of like I think the like whole a, album is just like one side full of homeless people and one side full of religious cynicism, if I yep. recall. Great album. And so it's <laughs> kind of like, things. yeah, there's this guy, you know, he's uh, like, he's creeping on people, but also kind of here's how like the society failed him. Yeah. Shows up, he shows up later on in Cross-Eyed Mary, so that's a nice dark thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 74! 74! Has a big drum part. This is Some Nights by Fun. Uh. So, occasionally on nights, uh, some, some nights have uh, big drum intros, and... Some nights have big acapella songs, and some nights have a have an interesting vocal break where it's pitched, which is kind of annoying, but also kind of ingenious, because mm -hmm. they kind of take a sample of him singing and they just kind of pitch it up and down, and that's a solo. <laughs> but uh, then they use it as an instrument, which is kind of interesting. Uh, it also, and I, I think just the whole song, the lyrics are really good. It's very melodramatic, very full of parts. Very yeah. memorable vocal hook too. Yeah. Great, great vocal performance overall, and. Uh, Great harmonies. Tall. Okay. My number 74 is All Nightmare Long by Metallica. The mm. recent Metallica number, Death Magnetic, which I think is actually one of their best albums. And it's like a seven minute long song that just like constantly keeps up the tension. It's mm. got this kind of like galloping intro that leads into like several great riffs. And it's just like you're continually like in it. It's also one of my favorites to drum. Oh yeah, I betcha. Speaking of my shirt. That is what you do. But drum? both of those things. I know things. That I don't know. You're number 73. And you won't. <laughs> Terrible. My smooth, perfect transition ruined. Cool, okay. Uh, number 73. Number 73, number 73. Hey, 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 chin up. Okay, <laughs> thank you for shooting up and not, not uh, extending the video. It's a Pretender by the real Foo Fighters. I, I was trying to make it a pun and it no. didn't work. <coughs> it's not even a good pun anyway. Uh, so yeah, a lot of Foo Fighters songs I like a lot, but wouldn't quite make the 100 mm -hmm. list because they like, like got a great sound, but it's kind of like, I just kind of you know, a lot of eight sound. out of ten songs. Yeah. Exactly, and the, but the Pretender is a really, really great part-filled song, mm -hmm. with as this great, great couple of riffs and um, got a good, good delivery on the vote. Great, great memorable chorus, great, memorable bridge. Memorable like 
the quiet intro, and then they bring back right before you know, the last yeah. chorus. Yeah. How it all kind of joins in. It's a really, really well structured song. It's good job, Dave Grohl. My seventy three is actually kind of a lie. Uh, last time I said Modest Mouse wasn't I, on my list, then oh? I realized oh, I think I actually will put this one on. So I oh, you went there. Out. And so I have Parting of the Sensory by Modest Mouse. Uh, this is my favorite Modest Mouse song. It's mm -hmm. kind of like, it is all, this really is that drum roll and the cymbal, because it really all <laughs> yeah. is like a long crescendo. Like, like it mm -hmm. starts out kind of acoustic-y and quiet. Gradually it like gets a little louder and there start being these like ominous big chords in the background. Mm -hmm. He starts freaking out slightly more. And then finally it turns into this like fat, super fast tempo part and he starts yelling about everyone stealing your carbon. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, the way you describe. <laughs> Everyone's telling about carbon! Is that how it goes? Pretty much. Pretty much, okay. Someday you will die, and somehow someone's going to steal your carbon. Oh, okay. So it's, it's kind oh, of right, like that's, a this is that cyclical one. nature. Yeah, that's that one. Yep. That one, yeah. That's bit like clubs made out of wasps. See, this is my Modest Mouse song and his yep. Modest Mouse song. The I have same dashboard. Album, but, yep. And he has. Parting of the Sensory. And carbon, and, and I'm just like. The dashboard Eventually melted, some but elephants start braying in the background. Wait, wait, what? Seriously? Yep. I You're don't serious? know if it's actual elephants. It's horns, but yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna move on, John. Okay. And it's not a very modest, mo modest mouse, is it? Like a literal mouse? I'm trying to pick. Well, now mouse, I'm trying to the pick mouse scared the elephants, and that's why they're braying so much. Now I'm trying to picture on Isaac Brock as an actual mouse. He's I'm trying <laughs> to picture him as an elephant. I'm picturing him as both now. Good. Now it's like a David and Goliath both with Isaac Brock. Anyway, number 72 is Maybe I'm Amazed by Paul McCartney on a completely different note. So, um, there actually aren't that many Beatle-related songs on my list, believe it or not. And that is not because I don't love and respect the Beatles. It is because I feel like on a one top 100 songs that was just, like, objective, they'd show up a lot more in mm -hmm. my eyes. But, like, in terms of listening... This is just a, a, a really beautiful love song uh, he wrote for he wrote for Linda. They may she rest in peace and um, wonderful uh, piano and uh, one one of the one of the my favorite songs to play on piano. So it's got this ascending left hand uh, scale and uh, beautiful vocal performance as always from uh, Mr. McCartney. So uh, mm -hmm. you've done this one uh, live, right? I have, yes. On piano. Yes, yes, with uh, with my with my mom on lead vocals. Mm -hmm. So uh, really, really nice memories as well. All right, my number 72, the first of many by this guy, I'm pretty sure this it's the guy. first, is Plain Sailing Weather by oh, Frank Turner. Guy. Yeah, I think it is the first. Yeah, so it's kind of, so he's got a lot, great songwriter, also really good at like, you know, an alternate universe version of him might be just strumming everything on an acoustic guitar, mm -hmm. but he puts in like great arrangements, uh, especially like half the first album, like this one, just kind of, the instruments add a lot to it as well, it's, so fantastic. it's kind of like a... Breakup song, you know, it's like, give me one fine day of flame sailing weather. So I can sleep up too. everything. Yeah. <laughs> As for said, Trig, the video. Uh, and so it's, yeah, it's like he's, you know, the relationship fail, is blaming mm -hmm. the stuff. And then it kind of builds into almost like an optimistic ending. Uh, almost. I guess you're right. Yeah. It kind of like starts with the verses, just like him feeling down. And then by the bridge, he's kind of. You know, expressing hope for the next relationship mm, and only trying I to get gotcha. it right. Fair enough. Another crescendo. More crescendos with John. Yep. <laughs> Once again, look out for number three or number one raspberry dressing. It's of the yep. ultimate in crescendos. Our last one of this particular video from me is a god awful small affair to the girl with the mousy hair. A mouse. Mm hmm. Uh, this is like peak drama, Bowie, isn't it? It's a, uh, it's, it's it's some nice lyrics. He's basically talking about this, this this girl who's gone down in the movie theater to escape life, I guess, mm -hmm. as she knows, and um, she did a really really wonderful melody. I love like the key change into the chorus, and uh, I think way too many popular vocalists have uh, <laughs> covered this for it, me to tell you it's a. Uh, it's just a it, because Bowie himself was not like the most brilliant singer, but like had a really distinctive sound, and uh, but this song was Especially really well. Especially spotlighted on this one, yeah. Exactly. Like, Best sounding show. Exactly. Yep. This is very distinctive, and so you're able to have a lot of people cover it that are a lot mm -hmm. more skilled, but still really, you know, really work. You're a great one here. My seventy one, very different. 
We've got The Handshake by Bad oh, Religion. Oh, no, no, no. What? I'm shunning it. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so this Go is on. kind of great, great punk song. Uh, song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great fit. Uh -huh. <laughs> great punk song that kind of, uh, it's just like every, the perfect concise song, like it's got... Mm. Some ver it's got a great intro riff, and it gets right into the verses. Great verses, great, like, kind of big chorus. Mm -hmm. Builds into, like, something's gotta give. And then there's, like, even in this less than three-minute song, mm -hmm. there's room for, like, little bridge, little guitar solo, like a big ending of him repeating over and over. They're like, and by stop, shine the hand jack. Uh, with uh, yep, uh, with and then backing vocals joining in, so it's just kind of a perfect little mini punk rock epic, with uh, lyrics you know about. You know, got a It's not like against selling or, or it's not against like making deals, but mm. it's against like selling out selling or whatever. Out, exactly, like you always, yeah. you know, like watch what you're kind of getting when you agree to anything or sign up with anyone. Yeah, like that was a classic punk vocalist. He might be my favorite because it's sort of that Greg Geffen. Because he's kind of like got this big grandiose sort of very literate sound, but he's still mm -hmm. very, very, you know. Visceral. Exactly. And that'll do it for this edition.